Saguli. That's how you say hello in Oneida. Can you guys all wave and say Saguli back to me? Saguli. So the Oneida language is similar to learning another language like Spanish or German, but it's a Native American language by the tribal nation of the Oneida. And we are learning about the Oneida language because they are our closest tribal nation to us. And so I think it's always important to learn about our neighbors. So it is the month of December, and that means it's time for a new story. And this month is one of my favorite stories ever. It's called The Frybread Man. Have any of you guys ever heard the story called The Gingerbread Man? Anyone? Raise your hand if you've seen or heard that story, The Gingerbread Man. So this story is just like that story, but they use fry bread instead of gingerbread. And fry bread is important to many Native American nations um, because fry bread is one of their favorite foods to eat. So fry bread is a lot like regular bread, but instead of baking it in the oven, what they do is they roll it out nice and flat and they make it into circles and they fry it up in a pan and it makes the best fry bread you will ever have. So that's why they called the story the fry bread man instead of the gingerbread man. You will notice as we are reading the story that there's gonna be different words and we're gonna learn how to say different people and different animals in the Oneida language. So I'll teach you as we go. I also need your help you guys on one of the lines that you might be familiar with if you know the gingerbread man story. And it's the line that says, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. But this time we're gonna say, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the fry bread man. So when that line comes up, I need your help, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoy this story. The fry bread man. Once there was a fry bread man cooking in a fry bread pan. A fry bread man in a fry bread pan. The word is in purple is how you say grandmother in Oneida. Can you guys say uxot? Let's try again, uxot. All right, here's the uxot who made him so sweet. A treat for her and her husband to eat. She made him with flour, oil and yeast, salt and sugar, just a bit of each. She went to check him to see if he's done, but this fry bread man, he knows how to run out of the pan and onto the floor. Now run away out the kitchen door. Now this page has two words in purple. The first one we've already done and it's how to say grandma. Let's say grandma again in Oneida. Uxot. Uxot. And the other one is how you say grandpa in Oneida. Can you try this with me? Luxot. Luxot. All right. Now chase him, Uxot. Now chase him, Luxot. Chase him, yes, chase him as fast as you can. Through the garden and out the gate. Catch him right now before it's too late. Now this word in purple is how you say bear in Oneida. Oh, qual. How about you guys give it a try? Oh, qual. One more time. Oh, qual. All right. He came across oh, qual who wanted a treat. And the fry bread man, he looked good to eat. Here's where you can help me read. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the fry bread man. This word in purple is deer in Oneida. Uskunundu. Let's try that. Uskunundu. One more time. Uskunundu. All right. Along came Uskunundu, who wanted a snack. But the fry bread man, he never looked back. Help me again. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the fry bread man. This word in purple is hunter. You say luddolutz. Let's try that. Luddolutz. And again, luddolutz. All right. He came across luddolutz who wanted a treat 
And the fry bread man, he looked good to eat. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the fry bread man. All right, this word in purple is that little guy sitting on the log down there. He is a porcupine. Porcupine in Oneida is Onheda. Let's try that. Onheda. Once more. Onheda. All right. He came across Onheda who wanted a treat. And this fry bread man, he looked good to eat. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the fry bread man. This word in purple is for another animal. Any guesses what this animal is? If you guess the badger, you are correct. Onagongo. Let's try that one. Onagongo. And again, Onagongo. All right. Along came Onagongo, who wanted a snack. But the fry bread man, he never looked back. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the fry bread man. This word in purple is that guy hiding up in the corner. I know you guys know who he is. He is a fox. Fox in Oneida is skunux. Let's try that one. Skunux. And again, skunux. All right. He came to a river with nowhere to go. Then out of the bushes came skunux. Jump on my back, my fry bread pet and we'll cross the river together so you won't get wet. All right, this word in purple is fox again, skunux. There was no place to go, there was no place to run, and a ride on the river could be lots of fun. So off with skunux did the fry bread man go, and what happened next, you already know. The words in purple are all the ones we've done so far. That sly old skunux, the fox, had a delicious treat. And the uxote, grandma, and the luxote, grandpa, had nothing to eat. Not a bite was left for Oqual, the bear, or Uskanundu, the deer, or Ludolutz, the hunter, or Onagunko, the badger, or Onheda the porcupine. So let us go home and get out the pan and we'll make ourselves a new fry bread man. But this time we'll be certain to lock the back door and when he's eaten, we'll make us some more. That's the end of our fry bread man story. This was actually written and illustrated by two people from the Menominee Nation, which is our next closest nation. They are about 45 minutes away from us. And those two people are Carletta Perez and Mona Lyons. I, Mrs. Youngworth, added the Oneida language translation so that we could learn those words in the Oneida language. I hope you all enjoyed this story.